Hey friends, and welcome to the rainbow. <laughs> I hope you're all having a great day, and I want to say thank you for stopping by to hang out with me here in my yarn room for a little while today. I'm actually headed to the doctor here in just a little bit. I have a doctor's appointment with my rheumatologist, and also I have to go about an hour early so I can get some blood work done that so it will be done in time for my appointment, the results and everything. So um, I'm a little bit, I don't know if I'd say nervous or anxious or something, but um, I'm, I, you know, I had a port put in right here. You can't see it, but it's right here under the skin a couple of weeks ago. And so this will be the first time actually using that port. So I don't really know what to expect. So I'm a little bit anxious about that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I just hope that it flushes well and they're able to draw blood through it and all that kind of good stuff, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm sure it will be. But um, today is Tuesday and it is also known as Fat Tuesday here in Louisiana and some other states might acknowledge Fat Tuesday too, I'm not sure. But Fat Tuesday is associated with Mardi Gras and it is a Catholic um, thing but basically Fat Tuesday is where people indulge in fatty type foods on today and then they will not partake of those foods through Lent I suppose and so I'm not really participating in that because <laughs> I'm too fed and what foods I can eat I'm not giving any of them up for Lent <laughs> for sure um, <laughs> <laughs> this is being silly. So last night we went out to eat for our oldest son Dakota's birthday. He turned 31 yesterday and uh, we went to Olive Garden to eat and we had such a good time. I enjoyed every moment of that. Just sitting there me and Big Daddy was sitting on one side and the other side was sitting Dakota and Elijah. And Elijah is our 23 year old. Yes, there's a big gap between their ages, 31 and 23. Uh, and we did we did miscarry a baby in between them, but um, yeah, they have a big gap in their age <laughs> age span. But um, they're they're still the best of friends, though. You know, they hang out together and always talking and texting and calling, you know, call each other and stuff and hang out together. But um, I loved every minute of that. We got there at 7 and we walked out of the restaurant at 9. And I was just sitting there just overflowing with love and thankfulness um, for my boys. I just We were laughing and just having a great time. Obviously on TikTok, which I don't know. I don't use my phone like other people use their phones. My phone is usually in the bottom of my bag <laughs> or back there by my bed hooked up on the charger I mean I don't carry a phone around with me and I don't look at a phone very often <laughs> and so I don't know about things that's out there so they were educating me <laughs> and so on TikTok there's actually a filter where you can it does like teenage years or something um, it'll split the screen and the top part will be you as a teenager and the bottom part will be you now so Dakota did that on all four of us and it was funny we were laughing and just having a great time um, yeah I appreciate them very much and just enjoyed every moment with them and I was laughing at them because they okay you know I mentioned my little friend Zeke he's 12 years old and he lives a road over from us but he comes down and helps me do things and he comes and gets my mail sometimes and brings it in for me and things like that, you know. And sometimes he just comes and hangs out and we just chat and visit, you know. Um, so they were referring to Zeke as my replacement son who replaced them. <laughs> so <laughs> it was funny. I was laughing at them and they were saying how Zeke replaced them. <laughs> he 
is a sweet little fella, and I do love little Zeke very much, and I'm so thankful to have him in my life, too. And his sister Evie has started coming down with him, and she's, you know, fun to hang out with, too. They are a lot of company for me, but anyway, I was just cracking up, laughing at my boys for, you know, saying Zeke was my replacement son. <laughs> So guys, let me tell y'all about today's video, which is a yarn haul from Premier Yarns. Yep, there was a peek. This is Premier Yarns, and I want to go ahead and tell you right off the bat, this yarn purchase I can blame on Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches. It's all her fault. Yes, it is. Two weeks ago, she did a video on this yarn. And it was on sale that particular day. I don't know if it's on sale anymore or not, but it was on sale that day. And she was saying, you know, you have to order this yarn. So I went through her affiliate link, which is in the description box under all her videos. There is a link to Premier Yarns, and it is, like I said, is an affiliate link for her. Now, it just gives her a little bit of kickback. Um probably not that much but I'm sure it helps out her family you know in the economy we live in every little bit helps and so if a lot of people use her um, affiliate link it adds up you know and it enables her to purchase yarn to show on her channel and stuff so if you do decide to use Premier to order from Premier whether you use order this yarn or any other yarn you know please consider using Jennifer's link and I will leave a link in my description box to Jennifer's channel and you can just click on any of her videos and click on that affiliate link. So today's yarn is Cotton Batik. That is the yarn that we're going to be talking about. Now I have never had this yarn before. This is the first time I've ever had it. And I ordered it because um, Jennifer twisted my arm and it was hurting. And I was like, Uncle, Uncle. <laughs> I called Uncle and ordered the yarn. <laughs> no, not really. Um, she is going to be doing a premiere week. She does this every year where she does premiere week. And she features um, premiere yarns. And she does some tutorials with them. I kind of wish she would give like ahead of time and it would have to be at least two, three, four weeks ahead of time. And she probably don't have it planned out that far ahead of time. But I wish she could give a rundown of what yarns she is going to be using and like how many of those yarns you need. So that if you want to do her tutorials, you would already have the yarn on hand. But um, she's probably... I'm just going to throw the back down so you can get rid of that crinkling. Um, she probably don't have it planned out that far in advance. And, you know, that's very understandable because when you're always making videos, you're just making the video for the next video. And <laughs> But anyway, guys, um, she did show the yarn and it was some beautiful colors. And um, I just decided to order the yarn because I fell in love with the colors. So, this is, let's see, Premier Cotton Batik, and it is uh, 180 yards. That is 165 millimeters, 3.5 ounces, and 100 grams. And this yarn is 100% cotton. I'm not sure if I said that. But anyway, this colorway right here is Canyon. And, you know, I never would put, I never would think to put pink and orange together in a project. But, um, I think this is beautiful. And, actually, I believe Jennifer showed something made up with this yarn. And it was beautiful. Um, it has pink, orange, brown, and some white in there. And here's a little picture of what it would look like knitted. But I'm probably going to crochet it unless I run it through my knitting machine. But most likely I would crochet something with it. And I don't know. It turned out really pretty. I like that. I like the colors. So that is the first colorway that I got. 
All right, the next colorway that I got was uh, this pretty green. It's called Mojito. And it's just all different shades of green. And this yarn screams, make something for Dakota. <laughs> so I don't know what I'll be making for Dakota with this, but it does scream Dakota. Now, this cotton yarn is a very soft yarn. And as Jennifer had said, that it is... Um, wearable cotton like you could make something for wearables um, with this cotton but I really didn't get enough to make of each color to make garments so um, I don't know that that would happen but um, I mean I didn't get enough to make wearables let's just face it <laughs> um, so to make something for Dakota with this I don't know what it would be um, green is his favorite color. I could make him hand towels and wash rags for his um, bathroom. I think he would appreciate that. Um, he probably, I mean, I know he has hand towels and wash rags, but, um, you know, they're not green and they're not made by his mama. <laughs> Dakota appreciates crocheted items. He is crafty himself. He does embroidery and cross stitch. Um, so he knows the time that's put into projects and he appreciates that. Now, my son Elijah, I know he doesn't need any towels. I mean, washcloths or, what's the word, hand towels <laughs> or washcloths right now because when he moved out here in November, I purchased him wash rags, hand towels, and bath towels for his apartment, so I know he's good right now, but um, Dakota's been out on his own for a while now, so he probably needs a sprucing up, so I'll see. I'll ask him first. <laughs> Another colorway that I got is called Roller Coaster. Roller Coaster, and just, the colors just intrigued me. There's brown, there's like a minty green, a navy green, a fuchsia, a touch of purple, a touch of lavender. Like, there is so many colors in this yarn right here. Can you see that? And that's what it would look like knitted. And I should have said, I don't know that I said, this. these are four-weight yarn. It is cotton. Um, it is kind of on the thin side. But, you know, cotton does that. <laughs> but um, I love the colors. These did turn out really pretty. I mean, you know, they're really pretty yarns. I'm, I'm very happy with my purchase. And this one right here is called uh, Pink Pop. This has some gray, navy, Fuchsia, maybe a couple shades of pinkish there. Um, maybe some, a couple, a dark gray, a light gray, some navies in there. I don't know. And, or a lighter pink, maybe. There's just lots of pretty shades of the colors in there. So, I like that. <laughs> oh, let's see. This one right here is called Mountain Mist show you what it looks like there this has some lavenders and some different shades of purple different shades of green some gray it's just some pretty colors like colors I wouldn't think to put together on my own but I bet these will work up to be um, very beautiful projects I just got to decide what I'm gonna make I know Jennifer for premiere week she is using this yarn for a project one of her projects and um i saw where she said you would only need one skein for that project but as i was looking at the yarn and trying to figure out what i was going to get i just fell in love with all the colors right i really did and so i just got more of the colors. <laughs> I just, you know, got all the pretty ones that I liked. All right, so the next one I have up is blue curica. Oh, let me see. Hmm, blue curica. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but 
isn't it a beauty we don't have to pronounce it to know it's beautiful <laughs> it has pinks and different shades of green and some white maybe yeah whitish color gosh those are some pretty colors in there I bet that works out beautifully yeah I don't know what I'm gonna make I'm, I'm gonna save and wait and see what Jennifer does for her premiere week and then decide if I'm making that project or not I don't know what the project is gonna be but if it's something that I want to make I'll, I'll have the yarn and then let's see um, here is the last one and look at that this one is called lush lavender oh I love all those purples it's different shades of purple and white oh yeah it is beautiful I love that and that's what the little swatch looks like knitted up but yeah I love this I love these colors so let's see I got one, two, three, four, five, six different colorways. Oh my goodness. So let me see if I can pick them all up. I don't know why I think I can do things like that, but let me see if I can pick them all up and show you just how pretty they are. I don't know that I can. <laughs> Aren't those beautiful? I love each and every one of these colorways. Um, there might have been some solid colors. I can't really remember now because it's been about two weeks since I ordered it. it usually takes about two weeks to get a Premier Yarn order in. And um, that's exactly what it took. <laughs> but I love these. And so I have a little space over here in this little shelving section for uh, specialty yarns. And that is where I'm going to put these because this is special to me I love that I love these pretty colors and I don't want to just lose these into my other variegateds um, since they are cotton and my other variegateds are um, acrylic I want to keep these separate so they are going over here and um, like I said I'll wait and see what Jennifer's project is before I use any of these to do anything so that I can see if her project is something that I want to make or not but yeah guys um, they are super soft I will tell you you know like um, peaches and cream or sugar and cream or whatever the name of those are the cottons are <laughs> that comes in the little squishy cakes um, you know they they start off pretty rough a pretty rough yarn but after they're washed they um, do soften up but this starts out really soft and like Jennifer had said that this was a wearable cotton but I didn't order enough to make wearable projects like I didn't order enough to make a shirt or whatever I really didn't and so um, I won't be making wearables <laughs> but I just love the colors I love how they worked up and they're so pretty yeah so have you used this yarn before cotton batik there it is again have you used this yarn before and what did you make with it and if you remember like how many skeins did you need to make that project yeah that's what I would like to know but anyway thanks Premier Yarn I love this I can't wait to use it and so I'll just be sitting here itching to use it <laughs> But guys, I'm going to let you all get going because I've got to rush off to the hospital. And um, I will update you all later in another video to let you know how my doctor's appointment went. And I'll see you then. Bye, friends. Remember, it is a beautiful day to crochet. Have fun.